Here in the United States, women pay a fair amount less than men for car insurance. And some people think, well, that makes sense. Men are dangerous drivers. They drive aggressively and, and the raw data says men account for this many accidents versus women's this many accidents. And so they pay less for car insurance. Interestingly though, reality would tell us that for every aggressive man that you've heard of, or perhaps that you've known, there's a Taylor Sauer or 10. Taylor Sauer was here in the United States uh, heading from Utah to Idaho to visit her family. And she was texting every minute and a half or so, police said, and she ended up crashing into someone and dying. Now, for every aggressive man, there's an absolutely inattentive woman. Now, it's not sexist to say that women are really bad at driving in this culture. What would be sexist is to say women are bad at driving because they are women. It has nothing to do with their gender, it's their socialization. If you taught men, if we taught men to be as inattentive, self-absorbed, and inconsiderate as we teach women to be, then men would be as bad a drivers as men would be as bad a drivers as women. But we don't. So, so interestingly enough, it has everything to do with a misconception of the data, the, the reason that women pay less for car insurance. The data says men account for this many accidents, women for this many. But it, what it doesn't take into account is how much more men drive as far as dangerous and grueling trips. When you drive the arduous trip, it's the man driving. For example, the late night when Taylor Sauer carelessly killed herself with her carelessness, there were men driving in those other cars. There was a male truck driver, the dangerous job of truck driving, mostly men. Mostly men drive dangerous jobs and most of the dangerous jobs are the ones that have those accidents. And so really that's it. That's why women pay less for auto insurance is because of a misunderstanding of data. There's a really good example of this social occurrence, social phenomena of expectation for men to do the dangerous driving. Uh, recently here in the United States, I'm not sure where, but there was, there's a woman now who faces 30 years in jail for manslaughter charges, uh, vehicular homicide, because she gave the keys to a drunk guy. She was drunk as well. And all the headlines are reading, woman could face 30 years for handing over keys as if it's just uh, that, that she, all she did what she could, you know, she did what she should. She, she passed, passed away her responsibility. You know, I'm too drunk to drive. And of course we have a man socialized. I mean, can imagine flipping it around if the man, man getting, getting charged for all he did was hand her the keys. What kind of a man would hand a woman keys? So it's none of that. It's not what kind of a woman would give a drunk man keys. It's all about, well, she was drunk. She didn't know she was giving the drunk guy keys. So again, that's that expectation for men to do the dangerous and the grueling. Interestingly enough, I'm going to open a can of worms here, but for the same reason that men or that women get less for car insurance, less for car insurance, which is this misunderstanding of data, men do the, the far more dangerous job of driving. Also, we pay more in this culture and in everywhere for jobs that are dangerous and grueling, etc. And you've been completely misled. I'm, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on this, but here's a preview to a video. You've been completely misled as to the 70 cents for every dollar that a man makes. Just like the, the car insurance thing didn't make sense. You're like, well, women really bad at driving. Why would they get paid at, 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 at least? Men and women are both bad drivers. Why would women get pay, would pay less for insurance? That's what it is, they don't drive difficultly. And women getting paid 70 cents to every dollar, you think, well, you know, they just, there's a man and there's a woman, the man wants 30 cents more and, and they hire him. Why would you hire an equally competent man? You just, you can't get your head around why anybody would hire a man if they could get a woman to do the same job. But here's the problem. That data, the same thing. It's just interpreted lazily as hell to fit a political agenda. For example, that data that says women make 70 cents to every dollar doesn't even take into account overtime. It doesn't take into account the time of people being there. And you're going to hear all kinds of people say, no, it does. It's same job, same. No, not even the same title. Overtime, the time been with the company, 
and it does not include the dangerous, risky, grueling professions. One example is that it compares people in private medical practice to people with that work under a general practitioner, meaning you are taking this risk doing this intrepid thing and have your own practice, something men are more likely to do, and they compare that to the woman who has this comfortable, lower paying, but steady job. And that's what they compare. You cannot believe it all you want. You can tell me someone wrote a book all about it. You can tell me the president thinks so, or vice president is big on this. It's a misinterpretation of the data. Another example that I'll give, and probably that'll be it, is comfort and flexibility. Women want those in jobs. Money, men want those in jobs. You will not have a man when we compare these things, we are more and more people are saying, oh, single mothers are everywhere, so we're comparing a breadwinner to a breadwinner. No. By and large, we're not. It's not breadwinners versus breadwinners. It's typically a man who is a breadwinner versus a woman who might be a breadwinner or doesn't have to be a breadwinner but wants more stuff or the, the family wants more stuff. So she works too, so they both can work, but she doesn't work as hard a job, as many hours. That's the fact. She wants a more flexible, flexible schedule. She wants a more comfortable working environment. And they're not going to pay as much for those things. I'm going to leave it there because I'm about to start talking on the whole, uh, I'll, I'll make something about that, the pay gap. But the insurance thing, that's um, it's pretty interesting, isn't it? And here you just thought women were better drivers, so they get paid less. There's statistics and then there's reality.